hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is osera me and if you're seeing my channel for the first time today please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made this simple cow neck dress with drawstrings on one side so if this is something you're interested in learning how to make keep on watching and if you're still here to subscribe hit on the subscribe button and let's get started with the video So guys, first we are going to start by drafting out the pattern. The fabric I'm using is very silky, so it will be best to draft out our pattern on a pattern paper. So to start off this pattern drafting, I'm going to draw a straight line across, which is going to serve as the starting line, or you can also call it the shoulder line. So from this line, I'm going to measure down to my bust point, which is 10 inches for me, shoulder to bust point. Now still leaving the tape at the starting line, I'm going to measure down to my waist. Shoulder to waist for me is 15 inches. I'm going to go ahead and draw straight lines across these two points. Now from the center of my pattern paper on the shoulder line, I'm going to go in by 3 inches and come down by 3 inches. This is for my neckline, so I'm going to go ahead and use my curve to connect the both of them into a round neckline. Still on this shoulder line, I'm going to go in by half of my shoulder measurement, which is 7 inches. I marked that 7 inches and from that 7 inches point, I came down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope and I'm drawing it into the neckline. Now from the shoulder slope, I'm going to come down by my armhole depth, which is cutting by dividing my bust measurement by 6 and adding 1.5. So that gave me 7 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a straight line across this new point and this point is going to now be my chest line. Now from this shoulder slope, I'm going to connect a straight line to meet the chest line with my pen, okay, so that it's not too thick. Now I'm going to get the midpoint of the shoulder slope and the chest line. So what I'm going to do is to divide what I have in between into two equal halves, okay, I just created a point at the middle here and from the midpoint, I'm going to go in by half of an inch now remember this is the chest line let me just go ahead and label it so this is chest line this is shoulder line here this is bust line and here we have the waistline okay now on this chest line i'm going to go ahead and divide my bust measurement into four i'm going to create a point here okay now i'm going to connect the shoulder the midpoint and this one here all together with my armhole curve so this is going to give you a beautiful armhole if you do not have an armhole curve you can use your free hand now on the waistline i'm going to divide my waist measurement into four and i'll be making a mark here as well i'm not going to be adding any doubt allowance to this particular pattern okay because we are not going to be placing any dart. so i'm just going to go ahead and join the armhole to the waist without any dart allowance okay so just go ahead and join the two of them together just like i've done here so this way you have drafted out a basic bodice pattern and this is a half scale bodice okay. now for our cow neckline i'm going to go up from the chest line by about two inches now you can go up by more than two inches if you're on a bigger size and you're very busty but for me i'm going to go up by two inches like i said you can use three inches or you can use three and a half inches so i went up by two inches here in the center and i'm going to also do the same thing on the armhole area as well go up by the same two inches and i'm going to connect the two points together so this new line i just drew across is now going to be the neckline for my cowl dress if you look at the model i'm following you notice that the cowl effect around the neckline was very little so this is just going to be enough to give you that neckline I'm going to go ahead and cut out the new neckline but before i take off the upper part i'm going to measure from the shoulder down to this new line and what i have here is six inches this is necessary because you need that measurement for you to be able to get your straps later i'm going to go ahead now and continue cutting out the other parts now this is the front pattern let's go ahead and draft out the back now for the back we're going to be using the front pattern we already drafted so what I'm going to do is from where my armhole ended, I'm just going to go ahead and fold the pattern paper just like you see that I did here. So once you're done folding it on the armhole, go ahead and draw a straight line across 
on the new paper that you just drafted out then place the top of your fold exactly on this new line you drafted then go ahead and trace out every other part so i've traced out the down i'll go ahead and trace out the side as well just trace out everything as it is on the front pattern now into the back but make sure to fold it up at first so i'm just going to go ahead now and trim off this back pattern so this is the front and the back pattern they are quite different and it's very easy to identify which one is the front and which one is the back so now let's go ahead and draft out the skirt pattern i've already drawn out a starting line which is going to be serving as the waist for the skirt part so now from this waist i came down by nine inches for my waist to hip measurement then i'm coming down to the 23 inches point on my tape for the length of the skirt when you're taking measurement for the length of the skirt please make sure that it goes below your knee this is because you want it to be long enough for you to be able to rush it and then it's not too short when you pull it up later when you're done making the dress so now this is the waist this is the hip and then this is the hemline from the center of my pattern paper i'm going to go in by quarter of my waist measurement waist measurement divided by four we are also not going to be adding any darts to the skirt part now on the hip line i'm going to mark my hip measurement divided by four but because we are going to be drawing strings on this particular skirt i'm going to add about half inch or you can add an extra one inch so that it's going to be free on your body and then on the hemline i'm going to add one extra inch to what i measured on the hip line this is going to make the skirt a little bit wide as it goes down okay so now from the waist i'm going to join my points to the hip line here and then from the hip i'm going to join to the hemline so you notice that the skirt is kind of going wider as it's going down this is going to prevent the skirt from being too tight when you draw the strings later so i've gone ahead to cut it out now now from the waist i'm going to come down by half of an inch and i'm just going to curve into to the side of the skirt and just go ahead and cut out this tiny part now this is the pattern i'm going to be using for both the front and the back of the skirt my zipper for this particular dress is going to be on this side so now let's go ahead and cut out on our fabric the fabric i'm going to be using is called duchess and i have a brown color here you will need two yards of fabric i'm going to go ahead and transfer my pattern into this fabric first we are going to be drafting out the front part okay so I have this fabric here, I have arranged it in a way that it's going to just be enough for me to cut out the front and also some excesses to serve as the lining. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold in your fabric like I've done here. So I have some parts serving as the front and then from this part here, this other part is going to serve as my lining. I hope that you guys actually understand it. So just go ahead and fold your fabric into two like this. And then you're going to now fold it again this time you're folded it into four but make sure to make the first fold that is going to serve as the lining for the cow area of the front this way you will not have to join any part of the front okay so once you folded it into four like this you're going to place your front pattern paper exactly like i'm doing it like this the upper part should be on the upper part of your fold and then go ahead and pin it down okay so once you're done pinning it down on the side go ahead and add about one and a half inch of stitching allowance and use your curve to just join it together and then on the ends you can add half an inch stitching allowance or three quarter of an inch if you want to and then on the armhole area just add about half inch of stitching allowance like you see me doing here and then you can go ahead and cut it out now this is it for the front pattern let's leave this aside and work on the back now you will go ahead and cut out a piece of fabric that is going to just be enough to cut out the back you don't need to cut the lining with the back you cannot cut the lining with the back because you are going to be placing your straps later so since there's no zipper at the back like i said earlier the zipper for this dress is going to be on the side so the center of the back i'm going to place it on the middle of this fabric here like i've done and just go ahead and pin it down remember that this fabric is in a fold I'm just going to go ahead and pin it all the way around and like i did in front i'm going to be adding the stitching allowance i'll add one and a half inch to the side and then i'm going to add about half inch or three quarter of an inch to the both ends so now for the upper part and the bottom parts you're just going to add 
the same stitching allowance so i'll just go ahead and join it together and cut out this piece so now this is the back pattern and this right here is the front so i'm going to remove the pins and when you open up the front this is what it's going to look like so you have the actual front and the lining together so when you take in the lining and by the time we are done with everything the cow effect is going to look like this now for the skirt i cut out the front and the back together because like i said before the zipper is going to be on the side now i have one and a half inch stitching allowance on the side and on the ends i have half an inch now i have gone ahead to cut out these ropes that are going to serve as the straps for this dress so i'm going to head over to the sewing machine now and just fold it up on one side and i'll do the same thing for the other one as well so after i was done folding them up this is what i have so now i'm going to open the front pattern like this and i'm going to arrange the armhole to stay perfectly so now you're going to pick one of the straps and place it on this end here and cover it with the lining area so just place it on the tip of the neckline just like you see me doing like this okay and then you can go ahead and pin down the remaining part of the armhole i'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side as well just place your strap from the inside and pin it down on the edge here you will go ahead and stitch down this side later okay I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on this other side so place it from the inside make sure it's exactly on this edge now I'm going to stitch down the armhole and the side okay armhole and the side I'm done stitching it down now and I've gone ahead to iron it out as well I turn it over to the right side and ironed it out so this is what it's going to look like when you're done with everything I just said okay so now I'm going to take this aside, remove the pins from the skirt part and pick one of the skirt pieces. Since they are exactly the same, you can pick any of them. So now I'm going to go ahead and arrange the two of them together, right sides facing each other, the upper part and the skirt part. And then I'm going to pin it down. You can do this without pinning if you feel like there is no need for it. I'm going to head over and stitch it down here so guys as you can see i've stitched down the front with the skirt part here so i've also gone ahead to do the exact same thing for the back piece so i joined the upper part with the skirt part now i went ahead to cut out this piece of fabric to use and line the upper part of the neckline for the back i noticed it was not long enough but i figured i could still use it since this was like part of the allowance so i just went ahead to hem the rough edges so now what you're going to go ahead and do is we're going to be attaching the straps to the back remember we already added the strap to the neckline of the front so now we're going to be attaching it to the back part okay and you know that the back actually starts from where the armhole of the front started i hope that you guys actually understand it the back neckline started from where the armhole of the front ended so now i'm just going to create a little cowl on the front neckline and i am going to measure that six inches i measured earlier when i was about to draft out my pattern so that six inches is going to be the length of the strap in front and then from that six inches point i extended the strap to meet the back so this is what my strap is going to look like so this is going to now be the full length for my strap that is going to fit perfectly for both the front and the back it was 14 inches so now that i've gotten the length of my strap i am going to be joining the strap with the back piece so now i'm going to arrange the back of my dress to face me right side and then place the front on it right side as well so i'm going to be placing the strap like this please note that the front and the back are right sides facing each other so the straps are going to be placed on the back like this but first you're going to take the middle of the back so i'm going to mark the middle of the back here and from this middle point i'm going to go in by about four inches to each side so i'll go out by four inches here and go out by four inches here you can go out by more inches if you want to but i think four inches is perfect okay so now i'm going to go ahead and place the strap exactly on those four inches point cover it up with the lining that i've created for it like you see me doing like this and then i'm going ahead to pin it down 
So once you're done with one side, just continue to pin it down and you would make sure to arrange the other one on the point that you had. Make sure it's exactly on that point and then go ahead and pin it down as well. I'll go over to the sewing machine now and stitch this area down and then turn it over and stitch down the sides as well. I'm done stitching it down, I've turned it over to the right side and ironed it out and this is what I have so far, okay? So this is what it's going to look like. You now have the straps on both the front and the back and you know the front neckline is higher than what we have at the back. So now I'm going to go ahead and arrange the pieces together, the front and the back, right sides facing each other. I'm just going to arrange everything properly and pin down the side. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a stitch on this side with the one and a half inch stitching allowance that I gave earlier. And then for this other side, I am going to be adding a zipper. So unlike what I'm going to be doing on the other side, I'm going to be leaving some inches away from the top. So from here to here, I will not be stitching. So I'll start making my stitch from this point all the way to the end. So the upper part I'm going to be leaving is going to be for my zipper. So guys, I'm done stitching it down on both sides now. Now, what I did on the area where I'm supposed to fix a zipper, since I've not fixed my zipper yet, I decided to use a gather stitch so that it will be easy for me to loosen up when I'm ready to fix the zipper. I've gone ahead to finish up the ends. Like I said, this area is only stitched down with a gather stitch because you're still going to be placing a zipper on one side. So now the next thing I'm going to be doing is to work on the um area that is going to be ruched on one side so you're going to pick the side that you want to be ruched on your dress you can pick the left or right whichever one you prefer is absolutely fine so you're going to turn your dress over to the wrong side like i've done here make sure the front part is facing towards you now i have cut out this piece of fabric it's two inches wide it's about two inches wide and it should be about the same length as your skirt part now from the side here make sure you're taking your measurement from your stitch i came in by three inches now i folded this tiny piece into two to just get the middle and i'm going to be placing the middle on the point i just created just now make sure that it's going down in a straight line so once you've done this i'm just going to shift it up so that it's exactly the same length i'll cut off the excess from the upper part I'm just going to go ahead and pin this all the way on a make sure it's going in a straight line make sure it's not bent if you need to draw a straight line and follow it please do that but i'm going to go ahead and just pin this down now so guys once you're done with this what you're going to do is to head over to the sewing machine and from the waist you're going to sew a straight line in the middle and on the sides like i said one in the middle, one on the side, and one on the other side. Make sure to start every stitch from the skirt part and cut off any excess that you have at the top. I'm done stitching it down now and I made sure to weave the upper part as well so that it doesn't fray later, okay? And I've created these two strings that are about 5 inches longer than my skirt part to pass through the casing I just created. So I'm going to be using my safety pin and I'm going to pass the rope through like this or one of them it's not very easy because of the the way the um the dress is actually is right now so i'm just going to pass it through once i'm done passing it through the first one i'll pass it through the other one as well so um the both ends are currently open when i'm done passing them through we will now go ahead and stitch it up at the upper part so when you pull it through like this Make sure it doesn't go all the way through and just use a pin to hold it in place so that it doesn't pull all the way through. So once you're done, you just go over and use your sewing machine to make a top stitch here. Now on this zipper area, I'm just going to tear it open like I said. I use the gather stitch so it's very easy to open up. So I'm going to be fixing my zipper to this side later. So let me just go ahead and stitch down this area and fix a zipper to the side. So you can already see that it has the ruche effect when I pull on the ropes I have. So let me just go ahead and finish this up. So I fixed the zipper to this side as you can see here. And then I have secured the ruched area. So now I can easily pull on it as you can see and tie it up. So yeah, this is basically all for the making of this dress. Thank you so much for watching. 
if you're still here to subscribe to my channel please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell i'll see you in my next one